hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel it's your girl again hbm so if you are new to my channel kindly subscribe to this channel and if you're a returning subscriber thank you for always coming back to this channel so today we want to talk about skin lightening for beginners the safest way to start your skin lightening journey so we'll be discussing about that today yeah but before i go into today's topic if you've not subscribed to my second youtube channel hbm uche kindly go subscribe to that youtube channel because there we'll be doing a whole lot of things there and secondly i want to start giving out shout out to my fellow youtubers i want to start giving out shout out so if you know you're a youtuber and you do watch my channel and you want me to give you a shout out please just let me know but do not drop that comment here on this channel go drop that channel on my new channel hbm uche to go to my new channel you'll see the link you'll see ash hbm uche so just click on that ash hbm uche to take you straight to my channel so go subscribe to my channel view my videos there if you want me to give you a shout out then drop that comment there i'm gonna give a shout out here on this channel totally again i'm gonna be talking about how you can start up your youtube journey forget it so many people just come to start discouraging others it's not easy to be a youtuber it's not easy to do this it's not easy to do that forget it as long as you know you're ready to work yeah if you're lazy you can never do anything good with that channel but as long as you're ready to work as long as you have a smartphone then go subscribe to hbm which is because next week is all about the series of how to start up a youtube channel the way i grew up this youtube channel in three months and i got monetized and i don't even want to talk about how many subscribers i have right now because it's hidden it couldn't have done well without you guys thank you so much i love you guys okay so let's dive into today's topic so today's topic is how to lighten dark skin skin lightening journey for beginners so what and what do you need for you to start up a skin lightening journey but before we dive into this topic i want us to clarify some issue because this can actually be confusing when it's come to skin whitening and when it's come to skin lightening they are two different things skin lightening is different from skin whitening now what is skin whitening skin whitening is when you lighten or fade your complexion beyond your natural skin tone if you want to see your natural skin tone just check underneath your arm that is this side I'm not talking of when you when you might have lightened up your skin like before you start going into skin lightening journey if you want to see the natural color that you have just check here yeah tend to give you the natural color you have so skin whitening is you lightening up your complexion beyond that natural skin tone that you were born with so that is skin whitening now when it comes to skin lightening I believe we all know what is called hyperpigmentation. Hyperpigmentation can occur due to stress, due to sunlight, even melasma, sunburn is called hyperpigmentation. So hyperpigmentation can occur, can arise on any skin color, whether your caramel, your chocolate, or your light, your light skin, you can become darker. I was so surprised that I saw a brown skin woman having serious bones. Then I was like wondering, ma, what happened? How come? How did you come about this bone? And she, she was telling me she sells in the market. She, she stays under the sun, this and that and all that. So now, when it comes to skin lightening, skin lightening products are formulated to restore or even out natural skin color. Like now. I'm not too fair and I'm, I'm not too dark I'm just in between but I can go darker so when I go darker and I want to come back to this color call that skin lightning now if I want to go higher than this color higher than this color maybe three shade lighter two shade lighter than this color that is called skin whitening so when it's come to skin like skin whitening skin lightening I put it in my own terms of definition and it goes like this skin whitening is the act or process of lightening up your complexion beyond your natural skin tone that you were born with then skin lightening is the art of using products formulated to even out skin tone and restore 
skin natural fairness so i hope you can see the difference there so when it comes to doing skin whitening or doing skin lightening of course i will not say it's 100 percent bad and on the other hand i will say it is bad <laughs> now you can see the whole thing is interwoven so i would say skin whitening is bad in the essence that most people abuse skin whitening see if you want to go into skin whitening skin whitening is, is not something you should be you should be in a haste to achieve no you shouldn't be in a haste to achieve skin whitening if you want to do skin whitening be committed be patient and you have to have money to keep that routine going you have to have the time to keep it going start your skin whitening with natural plant-based products feed your skin with natural plant-based products if you know you don't want to end up having burnt skin like this you can see that woman if you know you don't want to end up having stretch mark green vein um uneven skin tone um knuckles Fanta, a Fanta leg or Fanta face, cock leg. If you, know you don't want to end up having such discoloration on you, you have to be patient. You have to be committed. So if you know you want to go into skin whitening, make sure you prepare that money down that you, you will use to maintain your skin whitening. After you've transformed your skin from brown to half cast, and you stop applying whatever skincare product that gave you that half cast tone, my dear, what will happen to you? your skin will go back to factory setting it will reset itself back to the way god created it so if you want to do skin whitening please i used to say it on my channel do it with sense you don't just do skin whitening and end up looking like burnt chicken no you don't do skin whitening and end up looking like what will i even compare that with <laughs> don't go and use temprozone hydrogel or what do they call it don't go and use Movet, Temovet, Tempovet, Churchovet, <laughs> Moxovet, all the vets in this type. Don't go and use it and wound yourself all in the name of skin whitening. If you want to do skin whitening, do it with sense. So I'm going to be guiding you on the way you can start up your skin lightening journey. Now, if you want to do skin lightening, you're not doing skin whitening, of course, do it with sense also we have so many natural plant-based products so many natural plant-based chemical we have types of chemicals but go for the plant-based chemicals your abutin powder is a plant-based chemical yeah some people will like wonder why, why am i mentioning chemical why won't i mention chemical all these powders pass through chemists they pass through um our chemists that had to work on it in the lab it has been worked on in the lab it has passed through some different tests i'm not a science student so i don't really know how to put this to you so abutin powder glutathione powder they are all extracted from plants scientifically <laughs> in a science way they, they have been extracted from plants some of them have been extracted from animals like uh, rectinol. We have two types of rectinol. One is extracted from um, fruits like carrots. Then we have another one that is extracted from animals. So this um, ingredient, this cosmetic ingredient, they've been extracted through plants and animal and that is why they are safe for your skin but you have to be patient so i call them chemical because they are chemicals it's just that they are safe chemical they are chemicals that are safe for the skin they are chemicals that are edible that you can eat so if you want to do skin lightening you want to do skin whitening do them with your natural plant-based chemical do them with abutin we have glutathione we have azilla we have tranexamic, we have sim white, we have kojic deep, we have kojic acid, acid, we have licorice, we have mulberry, we have uh, um, uh, uh, beta butin. We have different kind of lightning powders you can use to achieve skin lightening or skin whitening. So why would you start going for tempovit? Why would you start going for uh, temprozone or movit or uh, top gel? and uh, every top and move it and i don't know i don't know why would you start going for those things you shouldn't go for those things go for something that are derived from nature 
they will give you that lighting skin you want and they will glow your skin at the same time they will repair your skin so these are the things i wish i knew before i went into skin lightening if you check this picture you see that in this picture i was very very white yeah i used to be white but on the other side i thought of it i had to like repent like oh no i'm killing myself even right now i'm still on the process of repairing my skin but at least my skin is far far better than when i used to be white when i used to do skin whitening of course i have brain veins it gave me stretch marks even the stretch mark i am still i am yet to recover from it 100 percent that's why that i'm still treating it because what i know now i don't know then i just went into skin whitening i buy this i buy that i mix together i don't know the acid that reacts with each other i just pour everything together i use as well becoming white and in my mind i am slain in my mind i am I am I am a beauty queen. If I just put on my woman hair, then I flung my woman hair, I'll look like those Oyibos and I believe I'm beautiful without not knowing that I'm I'm killing my skin. This is almost my fifth month now to so six months that I've been on organic. I'm no longer white. My skin is healthy. I don't have brain vein and my old age is well covered. Hundred percent assurance covers my old age i know that by the time i'll get to 50 years one part of my face will not be burnt <laughs> i'll still be looking attractive to my husband <laughs> so the first thing i'm going to be talking about for a dark skin who want to start up a skin lightening journey is for you to number one try as much as you can to avoid the sun sun kills every skin whether light brown caramel sun kills every skin so try as much as you can to stay away from sun that is the number one thing you have to start doing if you're the type that have always been spreading herself in the sun no stop that from henceforth as long as you know you're trying to prepare yourself ahead for a skin lightning journey try as much as you can to avoid excess of sun also try as much as you can to be putting on sunblock anytime you're going out in the morning wear a sunblock we have so many sun sunblock cream in the market you can get get sunblock yeah just try to go for the one that you know they wrote sunblock i'm not talking of ordinary sunscreen yet get a sunblock sunblock is um formulated with zinc dioxide or titanium dioxide so try to get any of those two that contains this uh, two cosmetics ingredients I've mentioned to you get a sunblock that contains titanium or zinc dioxide Apply on your skin before you go out in the morning. Here is how you can apply your sunblock or your sunscreen Yeah, here is how you can apply it Probably in the morning you've applied your moisturizer on your face or you've applied your cream on the part of the body that will be exposed then after you've applied your cream let your cream sit for 30 minutes after 30 minutes apply your sunblock then after 30 minutes you've applied the sunblock you can go out to the sun so this is how you apply your sunblock so try as much as you can to avoid the sun that is number one number two is exfoliation so if you did not shed off the dead skin cell from your skin the truth is that you will have uneven skin tone when you start your applying lightning skin care product you have uneven skin tone you start having breakouts your skin will look ugly your skin care product will not work <laughs> it will not work believe me it will not work because you know why you have junk of deaths on your skin that need to be exfoliated so start exfoliating your skin to prepare ahead for your skin lightening journey so exfoliate your skin if you are a beginner exfoliate your skin four times in a week so if you're no longer a beginner do it three times in a week number three is start your lightning skincare journey with plant-based products do not go and start your skin lightning with carovates tempovates movates caroton uh, Pukle, Miss Caroline, uh, Mrs. Caro, Caro White. Don't start your skin lightening journey with creams like that. 
most of those creams contains HQ. It contains hydroquinone. And hydroquinone is never the best when you want to start doing skin lightening. It's never, never the best for you to start up skin lightening. The best skin lightening ingredient for you to start up with are your glutathione powder, your abutin powder, your kojig, your licorice, you know, those plant-derived ingredients that are the best for you to start up your skin journey with. So if you want to start up your skin lightening journey today, today, yeah, I recommend this set you're seeing up there. You can see that set. Yeah, that set, I recommend that set for you. If you want to start your skin lightening journey, I recommend that set for you. Now, those set is of two types. Um, we have the brightening set. We have the intense lightening set. And these products, they are my handmade skincare products. I use the intense lightening set. That is what I use. The intense lightening set is what I use and it glows the skin, it lightens up your skin gradually. I'm not telling you that this lotion is a miracle worker. No, please, this is not a miracle worker. This lotion is not a whitenizer. It is not a lotion that will whiten you in two weeks, in one week, in seven days. Please, don't get it, don't get it twisted. This lotion will not whiten your skin, but it will gradually lighten your skin. So just give it a visible result from three to four weeks. You will start seeing that light skin you aim for. Gradually, it will come up. So this set actually comprises of the scrub, the face cream, the lotion itself, and the lightening herbal black soap. The soap is herbal. It's fortified with enough good ingredients and 100% lightening powders. When I mean lightning powders, I mean plant-based lightning powders. That is what the black soap is formulated with. So this is the best for you. If you want to start up your skin lightening journey, do not start with cream that are too harsh on your skin. If you start with cream that are harsh on your skin, you will regret it. That is the gospel truth. You will end up damaging your skin. You're, you will end up having stretch marks because I have passed through those mistakes. There are mistakes I have made and I am still even paying for it till now. There are mistakes there are mistake I wish I knew before I went into skin lightning then. Yeah, so that is why I can proudly tell you what it entails for you to go into skin lightening and what the result you will get if you do it wrongly if you do your skin lightening wrongly you end up having black and white skin that is the truth but if you do it under my direction i am giving you right now you will end up having a skin like milk skin like butter skin like beyonce skin <laughs> skin that glows now if you already have my kind of skin color and you want to attain one to two shade lighter skin use the intense lightening body set now if you're a dark skin who just want to start skin lightening use the brightening body sets after the brightening body sets then the next um set you will go for should be the intense lightning because the intense lightning contains more active lightning powders than that of the brightening set so i hope you get this way so now you have to take your skin lightning journey bit by bit if you need any of this product of course the number you're seeing beneath now you can just send me a whatsapp message on that number if you want to get any of this product they are hundred percent natural please if you are the type that is looking for sharp sharp this product is not meant for you but if you are the type who want to lighten up your skin with natural plant-based ingredients this lotion is for you if you are the type that is patient enough to achieve that good skin healthy glow skin this lotion is for you if you are the type that have whitened up our skin before probably you feel your skin is not healthy you can use the intense lightning but please this lotion does not maintain bleached skin it will first of all repair your skin after it repairs your skin it will now start all over with you i'm not saying that you will go 100 percent darker 
just because you're having an artificial color on you right now but there's every possibility that you might go 60 to 70 percent darker before the cream will now pick up with you again it will first of all correct the bad side the bad effects that your that the ash chemical you've been applying have done on your skin so whatever bad effects or bad side that the ash chemical might have deposited on your skin this um lotion will first of all repair it will flush detoxify your skin it will repair your skin it will glow your skin then it will now start up the lightning journey all over with your skin so i hope you understand i just want to break this down so that so many people will not bust me up to come and start asking me for the whitening cream this is not a whitening cream this is an this is a lightning cream lightning cream it contains glutathione it contains alpha abutin it contains um Kojik, you can go and google this um ingredients they are all plant-based derived so number four is for you to take good fruits <laughs> good fruits are very very important eat fruits that are rich in vitamin c eat fruits that are rich in vitamin e that is your antioxidant eat fruits that are rich in vitamin g eat fruits that will help your skin to glow so blend your apple blend your papaya blend your pineapple blend banana even ba banana is very very good good for anti-aging good for wrinkle blend banana blend um you're adding a little of your lemon juice everything i've mentioned blend them together you drink them exfoliate your skin four or three times in a week apply your plant-based natural skincare products so why would you have a beautiful skin you will have a beautiful lighting skin believe me but you have to be patient like i said the this process is not a miracle worker in conclusion if you want to start up your skin lightening exfoliate your skin three times four times in a week always make sure you heat healthy fruits that will glow and help your lightening uh, skin journey um apply natural plant-based skincare products i i i believe i've said that before then take water a lot and rest yeah you have to rest you cannot be stressing out yourself like you're stressing out 247 and you expect <laughs> you expect whatever you're applying on your skin to work it's not possible to not work then again we have so many um diys you can make on your own yeah you can make some oils your on your own you can infuse some oils on your own these oils they have um brightening uh, properties so you can infuse this oil on your own you start up your skin lightening journey with it so if you want to make your own made um lightning oil um our advice you should go in with your sunflower oil blend your carrots pour inside the oil when the oil is hot i don't mean you should overcook the oil blend in your papaya pour pour your blended papaya into the oil also you can add in your turmeric powder you can add in your sandalwood powder let this heat up a bit sip the oil and you, are, you also have your lightning oil so you can also move on with that one so i believe i've been able to give different option if you want to make yours at home then if you also want to purchase any of this product so guys thank you so much for watching if you find this video interesting kindly subscribe to my youtube channel see ya